Alright, so the second part of my recording uh, tutorial for my Oz Fortress Frag Movie Making Tutorial Series. Um, we've just recorded a small clip from uh, Team Fortress 2 using our uh, in-game source recorder commands and uh, what that's going to do is it's going to make a whole bunch of TGA images um, in your TF directory so what you do is you need to go to your Team Fortress directory which can be found in your you know, Steam, Steam apps, Team Fortress, yeah, your, your username Team Fortress 2 then TF and it's just going to be made straight here um, you'll find it yep just a whole bunch of images like that so you know if you consider um, if it's 240 images per second and we've got 1200 images that's around six seconds of footage um, so right now all you need to do is you need to open up virtual dub um, and all you need to do is grab the first image called whatever the name of uh, you know what you recorded so in this case Thaleon um, and then the first image is called 0000, and then it goes you know 0001 and so forth and so forth and so once you just get that and you drag it into virtual dub like so um, uh, like so and now we have if we just scrub through you use uh, the little toolbar down here you can scrub through um, you can see uh, down there you can see per frame uh, if you just run through you'll see that it goes from frame 0 to frame 1233 and actually yeah you can just watch it all and that's perfect so um, right here what we need to do is uh, you need to change the frame rate now this is really important that a lot of people forget um, the default frame rate in which uh, virtual dub uh, is set at is also uh, 30 or 29.97 um, and, and if you look down uh, down here you see that per how many frames you actually have how many seconds um, of footage it's actually running through so 10 seconds it's gone through 300 frames and in the end this clip is actually 41 seconds at 30 frames per second and that's not quite right um, what we need to do is change the frame rate to actually 240 frames per second and therefore once you do that you can actually see that this clip is actually 5.138 seconds which is more or approximate it's exactly what it, it is so um, that is the frame rate uh, that a lot of people tend to forget to change um, when you got that down you need to change the compression um, like I said the best uh, way I mean what you want is to keep all this footage as lossless though so you don't want to encode too many times before you release it right at the end otherwise every step in which you uh, you know encode it it's actually going to lose a bit of detail so of course the best way is to just uh, encode this into a video at an uncompressed rate however these tend to be quite massive and so the next best thing is to use the Lagarist lossless codec and this you know reduces the file size by you know three to four uh, magnitude and yet keeps the detail pretty much flawless and so what you do is you go to video compression change it to Lagarus um, there's not much that you need to do in uh, configuration and you just press OK so that is a uh, compression done uh, now all you need to do is add um, the audio because once it records, it records a whole bunch of images and also it records a WAV file for the uh, for the actual uh, clip. So what you need to do is you actually need to add the actual audio to these bunch of images. Um, I've got an old virtual dub, a version of virtual dub. So I've, I go to audio. Uh, you guys will probably have add from other source. Um, so in this case, I've got from WAV audio. Um, you just go to the TF directory and you'll find thaleon.wave and you've got that and so now you've got all your 1233 images lined up and then uh, you got your change your frame rate to 240 you change your compression to Lagarus change your audio and then all we need to do now is save as AVI into your movie making folder 
Phalion, like so. And it will just record. You see that the project size is actually uh, 1 gig for uh, 5 seconds. And now you actually see the actual magnitude in which raw footage can get to. Um, yeah, some, sometimes this can be uh, quite stressful on your computer, so you can actually change the priority of virtual dub um, to you know normal, low, depending on uh, what you want to do during this encoding or dubbing process. Um, and when once you've finished this, you've actually got your first clip um, ready to actual edit. So once we open it up, uh, once it's done, like so. Uh, in a couple of seconds, if we go to our uh, movie making folder and we find where it is, sort by date modified, we have Thaleon, the movie. <laughs> Not much of a movie yet, but uh, it's getting there. So, um, the main thing that a lot of people question me on is you know, when they're watching the movie, you know, why can't you know, when I watch the movie, why is it all choppy, and why is it all, you know, the sound is all over the place, um, and, you know, it's, it's jumpy all over the place. you got to consider that this, you know, movie that you have right here, this raw footage, is actually one gigabyte. It's running at a frame, uh, like, a bit rate of uh, 15, or, or 1 million, and it's 200 frames per second. No computer can handle that. So don't bother watching uh, this movie uh, in any you know, program. Um, the best way to actually go through all your footage is to once again drag this AVI into Virtual Dub again, and so you can just scrub through it like that, and you'll see everything. Don't try to play it because you're not going to be able to watch it anything. Um, and there you go. That's pretty much how you get uh, from the demo to the raw footage. And uh, from here, I'm just going to go through a couple of other things that, uh, or a couple of the other tips and programs that you can use to actually um, make this a bit easier for you guys. So, um, one thing that you could do is just to download a movie config in which you know you can just change your config uh, before you start getting to your movie mode, and then uh, you know everything. You know, you got a whole bunch of binds that. Uh, and you know certain uh, commands that make max graphics even better. Um, probably the best um, max quality uh, config out there is probably Chris's config. It has all these variables in which uh, you know you don't usually notice and you can't change without actually you know typing these into a demo UI. I mean into the console. Um, I on the other hand have just a, a few con you know. Uh, commands that make the biggest difference. Um, a lot of these variables probably aren't too no like noticeable. Um, so you got that, um, and the other. <laughs> that's just the song I'm listening to. The other two uh, things that you could do is to use the PLDX TF2 recording tool. Um, it's like I said, an old school uh, recording tool that used to, that was made by PLDX.com. Uh, made by Aaron and a couple of other guys from uh, and Sa uh, Salmon from uh, PLDX before it got taken over by Alienware. Um, this is a great program that opened up movie making to a whole bunch of people um, because it just simplified um, all those commands in which I taught you into just a couple of easy binds. Um, I I'm going to be using this uh, early version of PLDX recording tool because um, it's a very very simplistic version. So you can change the resolution of uh, your game right here. You can change the uh, frames per second in which you record um, in this window down here. There are a couple of really good uh, changes in the HUD in which you can uh, do right here. So just show your kill notices and crosshair. Uh, that's the norm for most frag movies. Um, you can make sure you can lock everyone's demos to use the default crosshair that's most wise and uh, using full graphics um, it actually has custom particles um, I suggest not to use those because um, the, you know high abuse of these particles have made it so that the movie community has 
pretty much frowned upon it now. You can disable the uh, announcer and all you need to do is launch TF2. And yes, um, it launches TF2 and um, it just simplifies everything by making uh, you know the recording process insanely easy. Um, it's bound the uh, you know host frame rate, host time scale, start movie commands all into F12, and also the default you know and end movie uh, into F12 as well. So really, all you need to do is load up your demo, press F12, and uh, yeah, that's all you really need to do. So here we go. You've got a few commands right here. Um, F12 is how you record into TJ. All you do, load up your demo, start, press F12, uh, and then right at the end, press F12 again. You come out, make sure you uh, quit uh, via console, and then uh, yeah, inside your TF folder, you're just going to have a bunch of uh, movies, and it actually does a really cool thing in which uh, once you've recorded one clip, you can just load up another demo and record again and it actually records you know via the alphabet so the first clip you record will be A and you know it will be A0001 A0002 and then the next movie will be B0001 002 then all you do is just load up virtual dub chuck all those in and uh, you know you're pretty much hunky dory with a whole bunch of clips um, yeah love this tool um, even though I didn't use it as much because I was set in my old ways, this really opened up movie making to a whole bunch of people. Um, and now the only active uh, recording tool that's being uh, updated recently is the Luina recording tool by Monitz, um, some guy from Chile. Um, total respect to that guy because um, the PODX tool has stopped being updated um, and uh, it's actually, I haven't used it yet, but it's a uh, it's got all the max quality, it's got pretty much most of the features that PODX recording tool had so um, props to them, uh, you can use it if you want um, but yeah I'm still stuck in my old ways um, and from there you just build up all your you know all your raw footage, It'll come out to how many hundreds possible hundreds of gigs of footage um, I know a couple people have a terabyte worth of footage um, which is just quite crazy in the end um, and then from there you just gonna start editing in your movie editing programs um, and I'll be going through that later on uh, in my future tutorials um, yeah that's quite a lot uh, said about the recording process um, feel free to ask me any questions on ozwatchers.com or on my YouTube channel um, I'll be keeping progress uh, on my Oz Fortress Winter League movie along the way and uh, look forward to a bunch of movies to come. Um, see you next time.